this video, we're going to take you through how to upload and scale plans in Build Exact. We're going to start by quickly talking about how to use the sample plans. From there, we're going to go through the process of actually uploading and scaling plans. And lastly, we're going to talk about some tips and tricks through the whole entire process. Now, to begin, we're going to start here in our plans and takeoffs. And essentially, if you want to go ahead and use some sample plans, you can always go ahead and do so by clicking in here, and that will then load them in. Um, however, for my purposes here today, um, I actually want to go ahead and import some plans in. So taking you through the process, what would happen when you have some plans. But again, if you don't have them, those sample plans are a great way to start to practice uh, and use the system. So to begin, we're going to go ahead and click the upload a plan button. And now to get the plans in to build exact from my computer, uh, I can either click inside this perforated box, which will then prompt me to search my computer, or as I'm going to do here today, I'm going to simply drag from my bottom screen to my top screen, again, bringing my mouse inside this perforated box, letting my mouse go. And then from there, build exact will then pick up the plans I want to import in. If I have multiple pages, I can continue to click and drag and bring each of the size of the plans in. But for this example, I only just need the one, uh, the one PDF document. From here, I can also decide if I want to elect certain pages to be imported. You know, it's very common that maybe you get 40 or 50 pages, but perhaps you only need, say, page 2 through 15 or one through five, and then maybe page eight or something along those lines. When in doubt, though, just go ahead and leave it blank. And then if you leave it blank, it'll import all the pages in. And we're going to go ahead and hit the import button now. Now, once the plans are loaded in Build Exact, you're going to see this little screen is going to prompt come up. It's going to say, do you want to go ahead and hit confirm to scale them. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with clicking confirm, but just for this example today, I'm actually just going to click cancel just because I want to show and note quickly that you can go ahead and add in additional plans after you've imported them in at any stage. Uh, we can go ahead and delete all the plans if needed. And further down here, we can toggle between certain pages if we need to, or we can go through them individually, just one page at a time. We can also go ahead and rename them. We can scale them by hitting this little button here, which I'll do. And we can also rotate them and delete the pages. So just really touching on the fact that you can import them in and then you can come back and scale them and continue to housekeeping at a later time. But for now, we're going to go ahead and scale them. So we're going to hit scale all plans and that'll bring us into our screen. On the left hand side, firstly, you'll see all of the different pages that we've imported in. And we could do a couple of things here, such as we can start to rename them. So I'll just call this one elevation for now. We can also rotate pages, delete pages. And from here, we're essentially now needing to apply the scale uh, to the plans. So firstly, to check the scale on the page, if I'm not sure, I can always hit this little orange circle, give it a drag, move in and out. And then I can from here read and identify the plans. And what we're going to do essentially is we've got two different ways to scale them. The first way being that I can actually go ahead and from this drop down, I can essentially just select the scale in which is showing on my plans. And that's what we're going to do here today. However, if you don't have that, that's OK. You can always go ahead and manually scale it, which we're not going to go through for the purposes of this video. Uh, but we do have some FAQ content that will take you through that process. It's pretty straightforward, though, as you'll see once you basically follow the prompts. From there, though, we're going to go ahead and apply our scale, so quarter inch. And when I do that, I'm now going to have the ability to either just apply that scale just to this plan or apply to all plans. Now, what we recommend for the vast majority of, uh, of plans going into Build Exact, we know that there's going to be a majority or a common scale. So in these cases, instead of having to go through and do them individually, the easiest thing to do is just to apply to all plans. Build Exact is then going to double check with us to say, is that the correct one? And so we just want really want to make sure that is so. Always worth double checking there before you go ahead and hit confirm. And what that's going to do is that's going to then apply it to all the plans. But of course, from here, I might jump down to a different page that has a different scale. I think it's this one right here. And I can see this has a different scale. So now I'm just going to go ahead and rescale this page and essentially just repeating the same process. But uh, this time, obviously, selecting the correct scale. And of course, I don't want to apply this to all plans because this is really just this page. So I'm just going to apply to this plan here. Again, just confirming that that is the correct one. And I'll hit confirm again. And you'll see that that will have just scaled that page. Well, all the other ones are still on the majority scale. And of course, if there were any other pages that had the different scales, I could always navigate to them and essentially just continue that process. 
Now, one final point we want to make here is obviously once we have uploaded and scaled the plans, it's always really handy just to do a quick little double check. And so I'm going to do that by just zooming in on one of my lines here. And then essentially I can really just find a line and I can effectively just click on either side, click again, and then we can essentially compare here in the label with what Build Exact is telling me the length of the line is with the actual line itself. So really just give me the confidence that, yep, I've done it correct and the system has calibrated it successfully. Once we're done, we'll hit close. And just like that, our plans are uploaded, scaled, and ready to go.